Okay, so my son Julian wants me to read him a book inside the Mercedes Benz. And we're reading today Sneakers, The Seaside Cat. So, see, here we have The Seaside Cat. All right. And this is my son Julian. Say hi. Hi. Sneakers, The Seaside Cat by Margaret Wise Brown. Illustrated by Anne Mortimer. To Emma and Charlie, A.M. Once, ooh, look at this. There's the little cat. Did you see? Cat, the seaside cat. All right, so here we have, once there was a little fat cat, and his name was Sneakers. He had four white paws, and almost all the rest of him was inky black. Was it inky black? Mm -hmm. Okay. He lived with a little boy and his father and his mother. One day, the little boy and his father and his mother went to the seashore. <gasps> they went to the seashore. See? See the beach? Ooh, look at that. All right. Now we have, look at this. All right. There we see Seaside the Cat. All right. So here we have, when Sneakers came to the sea, he was delighted. He could smell the fish. He thought he could catch them like mice. So, but when he dipped his careful little white paw into the blue sea, the water was wet. And it was cold. Ooh, it was cold. So Sneakers decided to go out in a field and look for mice instead. <gasps> he's actually in the field looking for mice. Well, he's actually looking to see all the water there. Like, ta-da. All right. Ooh, there's seaside, seaside cat. The seaside cat. The field was, fit, was full of butterflies, so sneakers chased one. But the sea was bothering him all around him. He could smell it beyond the smell of the pine trees, and he could feel it. It excited him, and way off, he could still hear it. Boom, boom, boom. Sneakers did not know that boom, boom, boom was the sea pounding the rocks way off the shore, way offshore, out on the ledges of the sea. Oh, did you see it? Did you guys see it? All right. Then, oh, look at this. Then he heard, ha, 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 scree, scree. He wondered what it was. First it was a shadow. Then it was a bird. Only was only was such a big bird it didn't seem very frightened of a little black cat with white paws sneakers didn't like to think about birds who are not afraid of cats so he went for a walk on the beach oh <gasps> he went for a walk on the beach look <gasps> oh look at this Little shrimps about the size of a cat's claw jump up, jump about in the sand. Sneakers roughed up his fur and lifted his feet higher as he walked along. Pounce! He nearly caught a sand shrimp, but sand shrimps were jumping all the time and they were too little to bother with anyway. Would you bother with sand shrimps? <clears throat> Would you? Would you? No? Look. You see the little sand shrimps there? Yep. Look, they're just little sand shrimps. Now, here's Seaside Cat. Then, then up ahead on the yellow sand, Sneakers saw something. What did he saw? What did he see? It was a yellow and pink on the outside, Sneakers had never seen anything that shape before. Then he crept up to it and peeked in. There was nothing in it. He put his head down to it and listened. 
I wonder what he actually put his head down to listen. There was a roar like the ocean. Roar. <laughs> in it. But there was nothing in the shell. So he lifted up his paws and he walked along the beach. Some more. Did you see? All right, here we go. Look at this. He saw a big flat thing with the long bent legs. Sneakers could see the two black skinny eyes sticking out of his head. Sneakers crept after it, but the crab, crab's eyes stuck so far out his head, of his head, that they had seen sneakers coming. The crab scuttled down to the water, water's edge, but sneakers was too quick for it. He hit the crab with his paw to see what it would do. Let's see here. You see that? All right, guys. And this was the crab. This is what the crab did. All right, look at this. The crab shot out one of its long bent legs and grabbed a hold of Sneakers' little white paws in its crab claw. It hung and pinched Sneakers a little, a little. Sneakers didn't like that at all. He snatched his paw back so fast that the crab fell off. Then he licked his paw and ruffled out his, fe his fur and walked on down the beach. You see that? Okay, look. Yeah, sneakers. Something was happening in the air. The air was wetter and heavier. Sneakers could feel it on his tender little nose. Smoke blowing. Oh, and he when he looked around, there were great puffs of smoke blowing in front and in, in from the sea. They smell of the sea and <coughs> came down, came drifting in, in puffs as big as clouds until you couldn't see the sun anymore. Everything was gray and the land beyond was all dim and dark like one big shape. My... But I'm glad I saw that, thought Sneakers. <gasps> Look, I'm going to show you. Here, see that? <gasps> In the morning, it was a little fog. It was still a little foggy. Down in the depths of the sea, the fish swam slowly, and the starfish pointed their spiky arms. Lobsters crawled into lobster pots, and the sea urchins chung clung on the rocks. Then the sun came out of the gray and drove the fog away. It was low tide, and all around was seaweed. Then Sneakers heard a little... It was like creaky breathing. It was a seaweed pooping, popping, <laughs> not pooping, popping. My, and I am glad I heard that, said Sneakers. And he sat and warmed himself in the sunlight and watched the light on the waves. Look, you see that? Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Then, oh, look at this. The next day, Sneakers and his family left the seashore all the way home in the, in the car. Sneakers thought soft little cat thoughts about the sea. Deep in the fog, a sea slung gone, sleepy, sleepily, rocks to its ding dong dong, heart to the sound of the sea long gone ding dong dong ding dong dong and that's all folks the end ah! 
And this was Sneakers, the Seaside Cat by Margaret Weiss, illustrated by Anne Mortimer. I hope you guys liked it.